fall of 2019, the same intersection, roughly the same number of vehicles involved in fairly similar circumstances involving a fire engine and the crash in this gas station behind me. Wednesday night's crash involving a Detroit fire engine was a repeat of sorts from a year and a half ago. Back in October of 2019, a vehicle struck a fire engine responding to a call, sending it careening into the Sitco gas station at the Quinder and Outer Drive, knocking over a utility pole that wrecked another car. Last year, it's the same accident, so now we just got one bump lift. That's now when people, they come, they was complain about it. How it's happened two times in a year is too crazy. Detroit fire officials say while the truck was from the same firehouse as Wednesday's crash, it was a different driver and crew. So it just it just so happens there were two different accidents at the same intersection, uh, you know, almost two years apart. Different conditions. Uh, it was night. It was uh, different uh, weather conditions. And so, uh, uh, you know, that, that accident in 2019 could have been a block up or a block back, but we don't see any connection between the two at all. Detroit police are still investigating Wednesday's accident. It happened as the fire engine was responding to an incident on I-75 and collided with this Lincoln Navigator at the intersection. The SUV struck a light pole. The fire engine took out a gas pump and hit a truck parked next to it. Police say it's too early to determine who was at fault. Sources within DFD's ranks tell me this Coney Island may have blocked the fire engine's view of the SUV crossing the intersection. A witness says while the Lincoln Navigator had the green light, the fire engine's lights and sirens were on. People saying that, you know, people had a music booming and stuff. That man had the light and he come behind that building. It's a blind side of that fire truck. And you know how you used to slow down and peep? but he didn't peep. So there's uh, sirens, there's lights. Um, uh, you know, we've got driving protocols and everything. And, um, and, and for a civilian driver, yeah, they just have to be aware of their environment. I mean, uh, yeah, that could have been, instead of a fire truck, another black car. And so, uh, 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 you know, it's hard, you know, it, it, it's hard to say, but yes, you've got to be aware of the environment and you've got to be prepared to give way to an emergency vehicle, in this case, responding to a, you know, to a, a bona fide emergency run. All right, no one hurt in that crash in 2019. No one seriously hurt in that crash last night. The investigation is ongoing. Hugh, Monica. Randy, I know it's early to investigators believe that alcohol played a factor. Well, they say uh, neither alcohol nor drugs played a factor in that crash last night. The fire department says the driver of that fire engine was tested for uh, drugs and alcohol once he was taken to the hospital. Both tests came back negative. All right, Randy, reporting live. Thank you for that report.